All right, so this is gonna be my video on uh, how to modify my two little fishes uh, Fosban reactor 150. What's been happening to me lately is since I use no kind of filter sock or anything on my tank, I just it's all just uh, I don't have any kind of like physical media in my tank. What happens is these two little sponges, one goes in the bottom, one goes on top for all you that have this reactor. With on my tank for some reason it really clogs up with the the uh, with detritus like really bad and eventually what happens it gets so bad to the point where after a few weeks this clogs up and it floats up and it won't even let water go through properly through the uh, through the phosphate um, GFO so when this clogs up it won't let the water go through the GFO then I have to take it out rinse the pads out it's a whole pain so what I'm gonna go ahead and do is I'm going to modify it so that hopefully I don't have to do that anymore. I pretty much, instead of using these, I'm going to use this. This is, uh, it's made for like knitting. Like you can get it at Walmart, uh, Michaels sells it too. And it's the, like a plastic material. It's the same stuff they use, I use for my, um, my DIY algae scrubber as well. So you're just going to need, it comes in a pack of three, which is really excessive because I really don't need three of these, but. I'm just going to need one sheet. What I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to lay these out. And I'm going to need four of these. So, can you get your Sharpie out? Stir Alright, so now that you have all four of these laid out, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to get your scissors and go ahead and cut them out. The only thing I recommend is when you are cutting these out with your scissors, try to stay on the outside edge. Worst comes to worst is a little bit of excess and you can trim that off later instead of having to start it all over again. All right? All right, so once you have once you have all four of these, you're gonna go ahead and get your exacto and just kind of you don't have to cut the whole thing out of the exacto, just kind of make a hole with it, and then you can or you can just kind of fold it over a little bit and just kind of cut it out. Remember that hole should slide just perfectly over that. Same thing. And what you can do is you can kind of lay it on top of this piece right here. Because remember, they're all going to have to fit inside the chamber. So if they are too big, they're not going to fit. So lay it on top of the top piece of the reactor. Lay all three of them down. If you want you to get your bigger shears, or you could use the same ones. It should be a little easier with the bigger ones. And just... These should also be able to fit back into the reactor again. So they fit just barely. So these are good. Alright, now. This is the bottom of the reactor. This is the top of the reactor. You're going to put two of them on the bottom. And two of them up here on top. So go ahead and do. Slide these down. All the way down to there. Now what you could do is you could put a, uh, just grab a zip tie really quick. You can't put it on the outside one because if not the reactor isn't going to work. It's not going to slide back into the tube. So what you're going to have to do is you have to go through one of these and then come back through again on one of these. I'm only doing this on the bottom, on the bottom, on one of the uh, sheets just because I want the laces to actually overlap each other. That way the holes are even smaller than what they are because GFO is pretty small. I'm just kind of putting this down so it won't float up at all. 
So cut off the excess on this. Push this down. Then what you can do is you can grab another zip tie. And zip tie it around here. That way, same thing. Well, it's not gonna. It's not gonna slide up at all. So once you got that nice and tight on there. You're gonna want to use your exacto for this one. So that's the bottom. Now for the top. For the top, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and put it on top of this layer because it's just gonna be easier in general. So you're gonna lay, you're gonna lay your first one down here. Do the same thing. Grab your just green one, your smaller zip tie. Feed it through here. And then back out through there, like so. Tighten it down nice and good. If you want, you can do one on the other side as well. Feed it through. You don't want to put the second side on because. What's going to happen is the flow is going to be pushing up on this one, so it's going to want to pick this one up. So I'm going to put a little bit, uh, I'm going to put these, I'm going to put two zip ties on the bottom on this one. Same thing. Make sure both of your zip ties are facing down. I just made the mistake of putting one up, and what's going to happen is if I push one up, it's going to uh, not let the other one sit flush. So make sure you put one zip tie up, I mean, put both zip ties down. Lay your second mesh on top of that one. Get your larger zip tie again. Tie it around here. Nice and tight. Do exacto again. Alright. So it's gonna go on the reactor just like this. I'll show you. Slide it all the way down. It's gonna slide it on top of it. What I'm gonna go ahead and do now is I'm gonna do uh do some video with I'm gonna do some video with the actual media and I gotta put the media back in. Alright, so the reactor's all set up. It's in there. Just slowly tumbling away. Got the top screen, my bottom screen. Everything's working fine for now. What I'm gonna go ahead and do is I'm gonna let it run for a few weeks and then I'll give you guys like a update if you guys want. And I'll tell you whether this works better. It should work a lot better than the sponges because the sponges are catching everything. So, um,. I'll let you guys know how it ends up, alright? Thank you for following. Like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you guys think, alright? Thank you, bye.